This playthrough is rated T for teen. There you are, you blighter. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, now we're back here with another episode of Ark the Lad 2. In the last episode, well, we uh, basically just finished uh, off some just cleanup and uh, treasures and uh, missions and stuff like that. Like finding ancient treasure, but no trees were involved and stuff like that. Just having to redo a fight because I accidentally went up some stairs. So, yeah, we're going to do some uh, wanted monster cleanup and... Uh, in uh, Syria before we leave. One is Kiva, which is if you go to Kina Hill, you can find him. And you can only he only activates after the Grey Shine events. So do I wanna just Oh yeah, I guess I should go up to the monsters were here. So we got some dark fangs. Um, I searched these guys off screen when I did a little bit of grinding. Not much though. So re really I only did like a couple of battles and it was only there to just kind of fill out inventory uh, fill out like creatures and stuff like that but anyway dark fangs are level 46 so they have 41 attack power 27 defense wind elemental 163 hp 57 mp they can use bite or punch they got leather knuckles equipped and they can use wind shield or thunder breath uh we've got the dark dragons dra or sorry dragon zombies we fought before nothing different here and we also got kiba uh who's a ninja i forgot what type of ninja he is but well i believe it anyway he's level 47 he's got 24 attack 21 defense fire is his element. He's got 154 HP, 63 MP. Um, whoops. Because uh, he can use swords and short swords. He's got the light sword equipped, and he has the bomb shuriken ability. Uh, he can. You can either steal an herb from him, and he can possibly drop the wind spear, which isn't a bad ability. Uh, I think it has a decent attack at like 18 or something like that, and it uh, increases your def uh, dodging capabilities while you have it equipped. So that's something to think about. Actually, I don't even know why, but at least I did. I don't technically need her for this fight. I guess I've just been doing it out of a habit. Oh, you know, I didn't even have to do level two of that. Now I think about it, I could move Poco in the right next to him. Yeah, whatever. I've been using Deekbeck to get more experience for uh, um, for him, so we can divvy it out to some of the weaker characters, and that way I can utilize the necklace uh, items a little bit more frequently. Yeah, it's too bad I. I thought about this after using all of his experience he built up after a while but yeah you live and learn and really you don't have to nitpick the game that much uh to do well it's just something to consider oh yeah i also rested up off screen too and also that guy's almost done and yeah you can pretty much leave tosh to his own he he'll take over anything anyone runs he runs across so oh, they just come they just come straight towards me they don't even think about the consequences. No one ever does. They don't know how bad how badly it is. It is just kind of sad how just Tosh can almost one shot anyone in this game currently. Well, that'll change by the end of the game. But... Yeah, these guys aren't nothing. To... They gotta recover fruit. I'll use that later. Um, do I want to? Yeah, I'll just leave off buff me for now. Actually, I do need one defect to uh, be able to jump around, so. Yeah, I probably could have put Gogan in the group in this case, since I'd already gotten the stats for these people. I think the idea was maybe Kiba might have had some unknown stats that I wasn't aware of. Sometimes wanted monsters will have like some slight, slight enough differences where you're like, ah, okay. But nope, nothing different. And the battlefield's the same as previously, so nothing really to write home about here, so. Wonder if uh, yeah, Kiba or Kiba Tosh won't be able to get over to that group fast enough. So where are you guys anyway? So man, they make this map way too big for what it is. To tell you the truth, oh, I can't even go any further this way. Never mind then. I'll have to wait for them to come to us. I guess I'll have Lisa go follow Tosh then. I guess. Oh, you're staying put, aren't you? Great. Now I have to run all across the map just to get just to get to you. But 
maybe I should uh, get some speed on Tosh, maybe. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just follow them with Ark. I think I think Deepak and Poco can take care of the, this dragon all on their own with their spells and abilities. Well, an insta kill him, but can I jump up? No, I can't. But yeah, this map is way too big for what it is. Aw, oh, he's not even moving anymore. What did he say? D D D D D D D D D D D D Like King D D D? I'll dig back Kellen just to get just to build up the experience. Too bad you can't equip uh, the silk belt, uh, silk belt or a king's image on Deekbeck just to double his experience so he can store more. Yeah, well. Yeah, he has to equip the power units, and no power units do any cool like abilities like that, as far as I'm aware of. Oh wait, I was gonna wait for the dragon zombie, so let's leave these two there. I think that would have been neat if you could like combine items, uh, item effects, or add item effects to like the power cells. As far as I'm aware of, there's nothing you can do to to do anything about that, so you just have to just accept it. That the power cells will only be used to power Deekbeck in all of his glory. Now, I guess I could have buffed with the uh, Poco while we were waiting for the guy. Or rebuff, anyway. Let's see how his attack is on the dragon. Yeah, got a good combo going there. Ouch. His his thunder breath would have done more damage. Yes, might as well just leave Tosh to it, really. Tosh will take care of that guy in one blow. Oh, he's almost out. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave these. I just got where are you going, dude? You're not even moving anywhere. Yeah, the AI, the AI has like it's it wants to get towards us, but it's not a, it's not breaking out of like wherever it's stuck at, you know. Well, we'll get to him eventually. Yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna let the party, the rest of the party, just sit here. Yeah, I probably could level them up by like casting spells and stuff like that, but, but I I don't wanna I don't wanna mid max that badly. I I did that a lot in the first game. Like trying to min max my HP, which I did with the Ark and the crew. I tried not to level them. Well, I technically redid the first game off screen because I wanted to min max my HP. I didn't do that when the first playthrough because it had been a while since I played it when I recorded it. So I was a bit hazy on some of the details. And then after doing that, I just redid the game so I could pour it over my most efficient group by then. So 47, so. <laughs> no rest for the wicked. Does he drop the spear? Oh, hey, he did. Alright, cool. I didn't expect that, actually. I usually don't expect them to drop their weapons, although I don't remember his drop being particularly rare, so. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's. Yeah, let's use this recover fruit. Uh, might use a strength of fruit here, or at least get rid of a magic apple. I don't want to completely get rid of my magic apples, because. Um, there is a point in the game where we might actually need to use them, like in some of the the big dungeons, if you know what I mean. So, okay, there's actually one more creature here in the Rowus Plains. Now, if you wanted to hold off on fighting this guy, I would probably wouldn't be surprised if you did, mainly because of the level of this wanted monster. Uh, but I'll show it off anyway, mainly because Tosh can I, not one-shot him, but he can do like a ton of damage even at his level. So. In this case, I'm not bring, I'm bringing in the big boys for this fight. If he pops up, if not, uh, oh, actually, I don't think I have those souls. Uh, I might have still, have to, I might have to still bring in Lisa just because of uh, uh, those soul things. I don't think I have those noticed. Did he pop up? Yep, Dra Dragon Gia. Now, what? Oh, actually, I th actually, since I have the dragons already searched, he should already be in the thing. So, yeah, I got dragon zombies, and we got dark and dragon Gia. He's 90th level. Yeah, even though you can. I think you can run across him way before getting the Silver Noah, but uh, obviously he'd run away at the time, but he's got 54 attack, 61 defense, uh, he's dark, and some something's weird with the translation on the image there, as you can see it's Dark Dragon Gia, and it's right next to the dark symbol. I guess whatever the English text, they had to find a way to space it out, but it almost overlaps with the dark, but not quite. But anyway, he's got 287 HP and 115 MP. Woo. Uh, he's got Body Slam and Bite, he's got the Beat Attacker equipped. 
He's got poison breath. Um, he can he has a cure all you can steal from him, or you can um, uh, or he'll and he can also possibly drop a dragon claw when you kill him. Um, I'm gonna move everyone down so that way when he gets close I can try to get Tosh into position. Oh yeah, to be. Um, let's see. Let's get. All right, we'll move you. Just want to beef him up a bit. Because like I said, Tosh is basically... I don't know if he's going to... He's going to do a lot of damage, but I don't know if he'll one-shot him. But he'll do quite a bit of damage. And yeah, leave you there to weaken the guy. And then you to search whenever whenever he gets closer. Yeah, good thing these soul things don't merge together like they did in the previous game. God, that was such a hassle, like, trying to level up at the early game, fight, fighting these guys, and they end up merging to form, like, a dangerous creature and then you're like well i'm gonna have to I'm, basically this fight is done for so even at even at his high level have you noticed he didn't like one shot poco you know so. yeah he almost one shotted that guy man tosh you're such a house uh when you think about it so sure even though he's almost dead yeah, levels do affect certain things, but in this case, it's not that huge of a difference. Yeah, see, he almost one-shot him. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's just add insult to injury by blowing a horn in his face. Bye-bye. Oh, I thought, for some reason I thought he was a zombie character. Oh, well. Anyway, I was at, oh, he dropped the dragon claw. Eh, I'll keep this. I was actually going to have uh, Lisa kill him if he went to zero, but I forgot he wasn't undead, so... But, and I would have equipped the necklace onto Topoko, but like I said, because of their levels, I'm not that worried. And Poco has a really good HP build, um, despite everything. So, okay, we're now we can just fight the guys like normal. Actually, do I want her to be over there by herself? She's kind of low level comparatively, so. Actually, did I equip her? Uh, I think I took off the Romancing Stone on her, so. Yeah, I should have really, I should have given that experience to Lisa because that was like primed up for that, but oh well. That's what you get for not paying attention, but it, like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me that much, not really. Because there's other more efficient ways to level up anyway. Oh yeah, I forgot to show off the new enemy. Alright, let's uh, take a look at that. So, these are Mysterious Fires. They're level 45, they have 35 attack, 26 defense, they are fire elemental, they have 158 HP and 61 MP. They can uh, use the punch item, uh, weapon, which they have iron knuckles equipped, and they can firestorm or self-bomb. So... Alright, let's do... Yeah, more weak enemy. Weak enemy! I mean, I think how much experience, like, either Lisa or even, um, Deekbeck would have had sword if I had to let him kill him. Yes. I, might, I might consider redoing... Well, then again, I got both weapon drops. I kind of don't want to, like, redo the fight just because of that specifically. Not that they're hard to drop, but, you know, drops drops and steals are so hard to get in this game. It's... it's it, You kind of take take the good with the bad, so... Yeah, might as well just wait, because her physical attack is just nothing to cry home about, so. Ah, uh, you've chosen death. Well, almost, anyway. It's like ain't, attacking Tosh is a fool's, a fool's game. Yeah, Tosh will basically be my damage dealer till pretty much the end of the game. <laughs> Especially with us giving him the Platinum Edge, you know. Surprised when she uh, when she blocks, just because uh, healer characters usually aren't very good at that stuff. At least in Japanese RPGs, it's different in Western RPGs, but get strength of fruit. Uh, yeah, we'll attack. Now, you're down. I don't think that range is big enough. Yeah. Oops. Hornia. Boom. Explosion. Boom, another explosion. 
All right, you're down. Give that to Lisa. Get the experience. Eh, not quite a level. I'll just have to finish him off. Now, if you were a lower level, I'd probably maybe hold off on fighting Gia. I, although, even if Tosh is at a lower level, if you've done like what I've done for the most part, you could probably get still get decently even if Tosh wasn't at 63 or whatever. So, what's your HP? Yeah, better to just earthquake you. All right, you're done. All right, we're done with the this map. Let's get out of here. Why did it pop me over here? Should it pop me on the left side of that? All right, whatever. Hey, anyway, let's get out of here. Okay, well that's it for Palencia in terms of uh, for now anyway when it comes to stuff. Obviously, Kolba Plains gonna have similar stuff to these two, uh, but there's no current enemy we can get there. So, and nothing I'm aware of in a. Uh, actually, did I ever check the Skyport or did it say you couldn't go in there? Let me double check real quick before we head out. I think I did check this. Now that I think about it. Uh, yes, I did. Okay, never mind then. Because I don't think we... I think we have to come back here again at some point, but it's for nothing major. Other than... Well, other, major being the final bit, which is uh, uh, Palencia Tower here, so... Well, actually, it's not the... Actually, is it the final? I think it is, actually. Hmm. Wait, oh, right, I don't... I need to use the bead. I was thinking, I was like, all right, well, actually, let me rest first. Get that out of the way. I was thinking for a second, I was like, all right, what am I going to do next? I'm like, oh, right, I need to use the bead to get out of here because you can't leave via the via the uh, um, the normal way anyway. So, Oops, that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go, I mean, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, but no time to get drunk yet. Need to be on my toes for some more monsters. Yeah, well, uh, and for those of you who are worried about, like, all this, like, stuff before plot, uh, it'll probably be quite a few more episodes, because, like, as soon as you get, as soon as you get, um, the Silver Noah, a lot of stuff unlocks for you as, uh, possible avenues to explore, so. I mean, you could keep going, and we have the levels for it, it's just, I'd rather, you know, otherwise, if I don't do it now, the end game will be, like, will take me forever, just because we'll be doing all the extra stuff then, so. All right, anyway, use the leaf bead to get back to town. And now we're going to need to go to the next next section, which now that we have a... Yep, welcome back. Yep. Well, we'll see you later, Kukuru. Sorry that you just have to stick there all the time, but oh well. I know it's a, there's a story reason why. I just kind of wish we could still use her. You know, have the original crew work together. Just kind of sad they're all... Actually, then again, Changara doesn't help us in, in the physical sense in this game, so... It's not like she's alone, but I wonder why they decided to make um, Chungar Kukuru non-playable. Maybe they just maybe it was the feedback they got from the original game or something like that. At least it came to Chungar anyway. Story-wise, I know why they did Kukuru, but all right, let's talk to. Let's get out of here. All right, time to go on to the next next major area. This is a place obviously could. You don't really need to go to this place, but if you're this area, if you're if you're really dealing with monsters and stuff like that, this is a good place to to unlock and go to, so you can kind of deal with monsters in your own way. I'm more of a personal fan of uh, anyway. You need to go to Clinny Isle. I'm more of a personal fan of using human characters in any game, even games that have random characters. I always tend to use major NPCs over. Oh wait, no, it's not Clinny. I'm just going to. Pff, sorry, wrong, wrong, uh, wrong. I was thinking for a second, I was like, oh, I mean, we could do the tournament there and get some extra stuff going on there, but uh, uh, no, it's not that. It's uh, four Liz. Which I will check the check the little mini tournaments that they have here. It's nothing major, but I'll show it off when I show it off. So, All right, we need to go to Mother Claire's Cave. Remember how before we it said something about needing some type of item or something special to get in here? Well, we do have that now. After the events with Lisa and Gogan when they were here, we now have the ability to do that, which is the uh, the Knowles Crystal. So let's take a look. Only one bear in the sacred proof can proceed. Do you bear it? Yes. The words you speak are true. Cool. 
From this point forward, only beasts may proceed. This is far too dangerous for mere humans. Tread these cave caverns cautiously. But yeah, we can't use any human characters in this whole place, despite... You'd think you'd at least be able to use Lisa uh, for this, just because she's here, but nope, we have to. We can only use enemy... Uh, 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 monster characters. This is why I wanted a dragon zombie and a ghoul goyle from earlier, just so they'd have the levels. Where actually, these guys are actually over leveled for this section here, because I guess the the game almost expected you to not have a ton of enemies here as well, because they didn't the the levels for this aren't that bad. So, okay, Pondit, I'm counting on you. I wonder what she says if you don't choose Pondit. Hmm, I don't know. Good luck. Maybe she just says the name monster name of the monster of whoever you choose to be in the front line. So. But yeah, it's just a mini dungeon where you just play as the monsters. Nice touch to kind of give the monsters something to do um, in the game, even if they don't have a name or anything like that. So, yeah, There's a switch here. Shift it? Sure, I'll shift a switch. I'll shift it real good. Oh, well, there you go. And there's a, quite a few mini puzzles in here. Nothing nothing that you're like, oh, God, I can't figure this out. It's just, it's just there to... Uh, uh, it's just there to, like, give you something extra to do, so. Yeah, it looks like we're in multiple caves here. Or, we're like, in an old mine shaft or whatever. Hmm. Anyway. Let's see. Uh, I think we want to pull it right first. And then, the minecart moved. What minecart moved? Which one did it move? I don't see anything here. Yeah, well, we need to move that, too, so. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens if we move it left. Nuts. Now oh, we get monsters. Okay, what do we got here? And unfortunately, we don't have uh, we don't have Lisa. So, in, as far as I'm aware of, no monsters have uh, the search ability or anything like that. So, let's see, charge and speed down. Yeah, I could charge. Why not? Ah, no, that's not good. They're very fast, so. Yeah, they're probably going to wreck a good deal of my monsters, though, just because our level's a little low and we don't have any good healers. Oh, Pondit's almost dead already. Ouch. Oh, he's going to be dead after this. Eh, I just don't have the... I just don't have the... The problem with doing this is just I just don't have the HP for a lot of these guys. Well, luckily, luckily... Oh, but he's, he's darknessed. How much damage did they do to my creatures? Yeesh. Yeah, Pondit should have. I should have given Pondit more levels. Oh well. Let's see, you got Dark Breath. Oops. Forgot to. Forgot to uh, uh, show off now that we've attacked him. Yeah, we got Black Race at level 30 here. But unfortunately, I don't have a search, so I can't, like, show you everything that I can do with them. So what do we got here? Sleep. Oh, we could put them to sleep if I. Possibly. Well, one of them got to sleep anyway. Yeah, these guys are pretty much like. That looks like I can do a decent amount of damage. I put one person to sleep. I guess there's something. Actually, right, how much HP do these guys have? Well, thanks for reducing my MP. Good thing it wasn't that much. Ouch. Actually, I don't even think there's any, really any good monsters with healing now that I'm aware of. But, oh yeah, let me see what their HP is at. 101. Ugh. This sucks for this party, that's for dang sure. Uh, yeah, let's try some dark fire. We, we made them get darkness too. At least there's that. So, uh, oh yeah, I could put them to sleep. Since magic usually always hits, man, I did like no damage. <laughs> yeah, they're all. He's never gonna hit anyone at his level. Oh come on, you hit him in the back, dude. There goes, there goes the blood ghoul. Oh well. This is almost kind of an unfair amount of people when you think about it, because uh, 
Like, I don't know what they expected from, from this group, but... Let's see, I don't know. Dark Breath didn't really do that much damage. They're kind of, and they're also nickel and diming us to death. <laughs> that was our HP for... Uh, it's not looking good. Oh yeah, that's why I, that's why I missed. We're all darkness. For a second, I was like, "Why do I keep missing?" I'm like, "Oh right, I get some revival dust." Now, oh, come on. I know they're all darkness. That's not much I can do on that. It's just it's annoying anyway. And I can't equip and I can't equip items on these guys either, so there's also that too, so Actually this might be where all my strength and like uh uh items go is just to heal heal these guys. Let's see. Let's try Dark Breath again. Actually now that I think about it, it actually did decent damage. I don't know why I was thinking otherwise, so Sickle level, nice. Probably use uh, that revival dust to revive, maybe like pond it or something like that, and then use like a bunch of strength and fruits to heal everyone if they're not dead by this point. Now that's making it quite annoying. Like one of my few good things, and I'm not be able to really utilize it. So. What do you got? Uh, I've got a decent amount of HP. How much do you have, Mr. Google? You should be able to survive. Yeah, I'll just attack. I wanted a dark breath, but... He's close. He's close, fellas. I can feel it. Yep, you're almost out. Oh, are you out? Oh, no. Not quite, but you're close. Oh, come on. You're not even darkness anymore. Not fair, boot. There we go. Oh. Uh, no, because I'm going to use them. What can I get rid of? Uh, yeah, let's get, get, well, let's get rid of this. Yeah, let's get rid of the nettle. So I'm probably going to have to use it to he uh, revive all my dead monsters, or at least the ones I care about anyway. Let's see, who's that? Okay, you're still up. Ugh. You're almost out of it. Haha. -ha. You're dead, son. You're dead! Alright. Yes. Actually, probably, wouldn't he still... How much HP is it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Good, yeah. Yeah, you're actually supposed to push right on this because uh, pushing left automatically summons them, so, but... Okay, let's use... Yeah, let's go and use those, uh... Oh, I think I, I can only use those in combat, that's right. That's kind of annoying, actually. Yeah, let's use these strength and fruits to heal up my guys. Too bad you can't use, like, uh... Um, the... Changara summons, but oh, that's right. You can't use revival dust in outside of combat. That's right. I don't know why I thought I could for some reason. Did that heal you up completely? Yeah. Let's see. Do I want to use a magic apple on you guys? I probably should use it at least on a dragon zombie. Actually, we'll use on both. I've got a few extra from the ones I equipped it on in my mo other monsters, so. Okay. Anyway, we gotta go this way. Yeah. Even though you hit that switch, you're thinking, like, where do you go next? And, yeah, you go in here, so. Uh-oh. Got more, got more crazy, got more crazy backs with the THX sound effect. The audience is now officially deaf. 
I'll show this fight just because this one's different from the previous one. Mainly because it's got different enemies, so. Alright, what do we got here? We got more black wraiths, and we got, uh, got rabid bats. Hmm. Alright, let's take these guys out. Oh yeah, I forgot to show off the rabbit bat stats again for those who've forgotten, so. Yeah, at least the sickle level's going up. We just have to deal with these black wraiths. Well, I said even though they're level 31, and I was talking about how earlier how sometimes levels matter to a point, but in this case, as you can see, like even though I have a couple high level monsters, I still almost killed all my guys, so you just have to be careful of them, so. He almost finished him off. Oh, come on. You can't jump over him. Seriously? You're a flying creature. That's so dumb. Alright, whatever. That is kind of, That's actually literally dumb. Like, the fact that he can't just, like, jump over him. He's a flying monster, you know? Well, I, I, I mean, stats, mechanics, and all that. Really? None of you can jump? I, I, wow, I, I didn't realize I had no monsters that could actually jump over things. I might just have you run again, because Pondit's HP is pretty low. Like 70-something or whatever. Alright, let's get some, let's get some c-c-c-cold breath! Let's see, that's not, not a good spot. Eh, yeah, there's not a good spot for my, uh, dragon, or my dark breath, unfortunately. Not to hit all of them, anyway. What are you? Let's see. see, that puts you to sleep. Nice. Nope, nope, don't want to leave. At least you have a decent uh, counter. They'll do better than the last fight, mainly because we were just overwhelmed by those guys. Yeah, good thing I got the dragon zombie. Man, that would have uh, this fight would have been quite obnoxious if I didn't. So more c -c -c cold breath. Right. Oh, this is a good, great place for a dark breath. All right, and then yeah, oh. At least you can jump. The only one, apparently. I know I could have hit them to swing, but I wanted to possibly put them to sleep. So, oh, but if I put them there, I don't think that guy can blood it, jump over. So I'm gonna leave it. Looks like Pondit's almost out of HP again. So. Boom! Explosion. I mean. Uh, Look at all that power, the speed. Haha, you cannot. How's your MP? Hmm. I was hoping he wouldn't dodge out of the way or something like that. Uh, yeah, let's finish you off. I think what I'm gonna do, even though I could hit both of them, I only want one of them activate, so I'm gonna hit this guy. Nah. I should be using him, but no. Nah. Uh. Ah, not quite. I was hoping I was a. I was hoping he did enough damage, but. There you go. Alright, too bad I don't really have any good. One of the. One of the bad re things about like not uh, keeping any like random heal items. So, but all right, let's flip this thing. Ah, that's how it moves. Over there, I see. Says I. The cart moved. All right, let's go back. Yeah, pretty much this whole fight's gonna be basically the dragon zombie for intense purposes. So. Uh oh, more monsters. But we fought these guys before, so I'll 
I'll beat this riffraff back myself. Heck has no fury like the punch of a ogre in the face, but I probably should have shown that fight mainly because it didn't take me too long, and this is actually the final fight of the dungeon, so I could probably get rid of those revival deaths at this point, but. Oh. Thanks. Good job, Pondit. Let's go. The exit is just ahead. Yeah, probably one of the tougher fights of the game if you don't have the right creatures, and I barely scraped by, so I I technically I didn't have to fight that one fight where we fought all those race. If I if you show if I'd just done like the one I where I started at, we wouldn't have fought those guys, period, so Ah, uh, you are Lee's F Hone, are you not? How do you know me? I know many things. Some important, some not. I know of you, because you hear my curse. I, too, am from Hone. You are Mother Claire. Yeah, I think we heard about her. Oh, don't call me Mother. I never did fancy that, but I wasn't given a choice. Just call me Claire. I know that you did not choose to be born with your special gift. I also know that you have endured a great many trials because of it. But you must be brave, Lisa, and live. You must come. You may come here any time, and I shall do whatever I can to help you. Thank you, Grandmother Claire. Now that now that's a tile I don't mind for once. I've always wanted a grandchild. And that's pretty much Lisa's little story thing. So what Mother Claire can do? Let's talk to her again. What can I do for you, dear? So we can change the classes of monsters, and how that works is basically each monster has a certain build. Uh, uh, but the only problem is, is we can't move that creature over until we actually hit that level. So this is a great way for those who maybe got a creature really early level lo on, but they're like, oh, I don't want to keep using him if he's going to be weaker than his counterparts. Well, this is a way to keep using him. So if you got him at a certain high level, you can, be, you can boom, change the level at some point. The only weird thing is Pondit changes from like a wolf into these jackal creatures as his highest level. Uh, Blood Fiend, obviously Night Stalker is his, his uh, upgrade, which you already have one, but that's just an example, as you can see there. And this shows all the different types of uh, color change differences between the creatures yeah pretty much so and yeah it goes all the way up to 70 like for the night streaker for example we could uh we could change him to a uh, mud battler or blood fiend if we want to um and as you can see there uh the way we can change is we have to have Noel's skill which is up there in the upper right corner there uh, i think Noel skill is just something you if i remember correctly because every time we defeat a creature because we have the Noel crystal they'll d d they'll drop or uh, the null skill will increase, and that's how you change into different uh, versions. But you can even downgrade the creature if you want to for some reason. I don't know why you would, but yeah, just show them all the different versions here. Although, interesting enough, yeah, as you can see, the dragons change dramatically after they hit, after you get to King Dragon and so forth, so that's kind of cool. And yeah, Gargoyle, we could swap him out between his different versions, but anyway. So and then we can add ability to monsters and, and people as well. Um, and that's based on, um, yeah, you can see, like, here we can, uh, let's see, let's see if I can show that off. Yeah, give them, like, jump low, retaliation, stuff like that. Um, I don't, and each creature has, like, their own ability that they can add on to them, as you can see here. We can even add, uh, abilities to, uh, to some of our party members, except for Deepak, of course, because he sucks. No. Um, so there's also that. And then we can also sell monsters. So if we want to earn some extra cash and we don't want to use... Because you can only have so many monsters in your roster. So, But we'll almost never get to the point where I'm going to have to sell monsters because I don't use monsters that often. But that's something to think about. So remember to take care of the beast and I'll come for you. Oh, they'll, oh, I like the little animation on her hat when she talks. Let's see if I can show it off again. Yeah, see, she, it like fish... It looks like there's a fi fish bulb in her head or something. On her, under her hat or something like that. But... Anyway, we'll take care of our beast and we'll take care of ourselves. But where to next? Perhaps our bloodthirst has led us, to, will lead us to a famous arena. Find out next time in the next episode of Ark the Lad 2. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.